Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a palette that I haven't used in a video before that I picked up a little while ago. And so I thought we'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. I did go ahead and mix a little bit of the Revolution Skin Silk in F2 and the Soul Face and Body Bronzer in Fair. So I have these two on today as far as my base goes. Ooh, and I'm dropping stuff already. One down to camper. Hopefully nothing else falls. I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Uh, concealer. This one's in light rosy, so I had that one on. And then the Essence uh, Thick and Wow, and this one's in Caramel Blonde. As far as what I did for the face products, I actually, or the blusher, bronzer, I actually ended up mixing a couple of things today. So I did go ahead and mix the Heat Wave uh, Sunrise Bronzer by Flower Beauty. And then I mixed that with the Buttermilk Bronzer in the All Buttered Up. And so this way, this is the second to the lightest shade. It looks a little bit red on me. And the um, this one goes a little bit purple. So I kind of mix the two together today to come up with my bronzer shade. As far as blush, I uh, got out the Alice in Wonderland by Wet n Wild. And I think these are still available on the website, the Wet n Wild website. But they actually came out... Um, well, a little while ago now. Um, so I have this on for the blush, these two colors over here. And then I did go ahead and top them with these two colors. But I kind of didn't like the way that that worked. So I added in some of the Master Chrome and Molten Peach. And so um, I used that as a topper. And then as far as the highlighter, I used two highlighters. I used the Revolution. This is the Bubble Balm in Rose. And so it's um, a highlighter. You just sort of swirl your fingers around and then go ahead and pat it on. And um, it comes out a pearly pink kind of color. And I also used the Wet n Wild um, Alice in Wonderland highlighter that's called Curiouser and Curiouser. And so I did go ahead and use a little bit of these two shades as well. So I did go ahead and mix these two together. And the uh, Wet n Wild, the actual uh, blush palette is called Talk to the Flowers. And so, yeah, I like their format when they do these kinds of pans. You get a lot for your money. And let's see, what else did I do here? Oh, as far as what I did on the eyes today, the NYX Ultimate Edit. And so this is, um, yeah, Ultimate Utopia is what this one is called. And I picked it up over at Ulta, but I don't think I've ever done a video with it. Um, I did go ahead and use this on the outer corner, this on the crease. Uh, this one right above the crease. Um, I put this one on the inner corner. And uh, this one, let's see, uh, this one right on the inner corner, this one right on the lid. And with this one, I actually went from here up to here with it. So, um, yeah, I think it came out fun. It's a really classic burgundy, well, more of a purple purple gold rose look. So, yeah, this is the way that the look came out. And, yeah, it is a very classic look. And I went ahead and used the Handy Iron um, Gel Eyeliner in purple as well. As far as what I did on the lips, I used the Super Stay Matting Crayon. This one's in shade 60. And then some of the NYX uh, Butter Gloss Bling on top of it. And also, where's the other one? Ah, it, um, hold on. Yeah, it walked away. Um, I had another one on as well. Oh, I forgot to mention that I used a little bit of the Revolution Super Dewy as well on the cheeks. So there's a lot going on that cheek look today. I forgot that I had done that much. And then the uh, Panorama Mascara by L'Oreal. So I had that one on as well. 
And as far as what else I did on the lips here, um, I'm going to have to put it in the box below. I also use the Sungasm um, powder from Catrice, and it's a light pink powder as an all over finishing powder. And I think it came out pretty fun. I mean, it's um, definitely more of a classic look going ahead and mixing together the gold with the rose and the purple. And um, I think it's a really fun palette. If you're looking for something to travel with, these this size of palette is actually really good size to do that with. And it has enough variety in it that you can do other stuff with it. Okay, so as far as what I did for the lips today, I used the Matte Ink um, by Maybelline, and this is the Super Stay in shade 60. And then I did go ahead and use the Hard Candy, um, and this is their gloss and Sun Kissed, and the NYX and the Butter Gloss Bling. And both of these have glitter in them, and then, like I said, this is a matte. So, yeah, that's how the lips came out, and I think the Butter Gloss Bling added just a little bit of peach into the look, and um, yeah, I have a little bit of peach uh, both here and also in the cheek look. So, uh, these are what I actually have on the lips today, and that's the video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.